New body cam video shows what led to a deadly officer involved shooting on New Year's Day in Canton. The family of James Williams believes the officer who shot and killed him acted improperly. Tonight they are calling for criminal charges. You can't see through this fence. You just took it upon yourself because you hear and you see someone shooting in the air to just decide that you're going to shoot him. The State Bureau of Criminal Investigation has been called in to determine if charges should be brought against the officer. He is now on administrative leave. News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis has more on what the body cam video reveals about this fatal shooting. And we want to warn you, some of what you are about to see may be disturbing. Well, the family of James Williams says they want answers from the Canton Police Department here, wondering why their officer didn't announce his presence at their home before firing his gun. Say his name! Rose! Say his name! Rose! Say his name! Rose! A Wednesday night vigil in front of the Canton home of 46-year-old James Williams, the father of six killed by a Canton police officer just minutes after midnight on New Year's Day after the officer responded to neighborhood calls that shots were being fired illegally into the air outside the Williams 10th Street Southwest home. The wife of James Williams, Marquetta Williams, believes the officer made a fatal mistake. I'm angry how it happened. He didn't deserve to die the way he did. Canton police body cam video shows the officer involved was met with eight seconds of repeated gunfire, allegedly discharged by Williams behind this fence, and then the officer immediately returned fire. Shots fired, shots fired. Police, get down now! The video provided to News 5 shows the officer announced his presence outside the house and takes a defensive position behind his cruiser after the shots were fired at Williams. You ain't even announce yourself. You ain't say police, put the gun down, freeze, anything. And if he would have, he would have put the gun down. Canton Law Director Kristen Bates Aylward says BCI will conduct the investigation into whether the officer acted properly, presenting the case to a grand jury to determine if criminal charges are warranted. And then... The city of Canton does do an internal investigation. This is done by our Bureau of Professional Standards. Akron National Law Enforcement Procedures expert Tim Dimoff says, based on the body cam video, the case will come down to what the officer and witnesses perceived before the shots were fired. If he perceives that that gun is also being pointed at him or shots are being point, uh, fired at him or some shots are being fired at him, he's totally justifiable in returning gunfire. Meanwhile, even though Marquetta Williams understands firing a gun into the air is illegal in Canton, she believes the officer made a mistake and her husband should still be alive. It's senseless. I need justice. I want justice. He need to be charged. And the Canton law director says just like in any other criminal investigation, they won't be giving the identity of the officer involved in this case until the outcome of the investigation and whether or not that officer will be formally charged. Reporting here at Canton Police Headquarters, I'm News 5 investigator Joe Paganakis.